Hi, it's Barbara, and welcome back to another episode of Can I Recreate It in Elementor. In this series, I take a look at websites with interesting design elements, and I see if I can recreate those elements using the Elementor page builder. For this recreate video, I got the inspiration from a Reddit post. Somebody a few weeks ago posted on Reddit, can you create this in Elementor? There is a way to do this pretty easily using templates. If you have Elementor Pro, you're probably really familiar with templates. You use them for things like headers and footers, but you can also create sections that we can then place into the tab system. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, before I get started with this tutorial, I do know that Elementor just made an update that included an update to the tabs widget. And in this update, it allows you to do what I'm about to show you pretty easily. But this is using Flexbox, which is still in experiments mode. And who knows when it's going to get out of experiments mode. It's been in there for like over a year. And a lot of people are not using Flexbox. They're using the old version of Elementor. In fact, for our clients, we do not build websites using Flexbox yet because it's still in experiments and there could be things that go wrong with updates. So we're not using it. A lot of people aren't using it. So before you leave a comment down below telling me that this tutorial is wrong and we don't need to do this anymore, there's still a lot of people that are going to have to do it this way. So I wanted to make the tutorial to show them because it definitely could help somebody out. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so I created a new page in Elementor and I dragged over the tabs widget. And as you can see with the tabs widget, you don't get a ton of different options for what you can add in here. You have the title of the tab, and then if you click inside, you have the content. Now you can add images and stuff, but like I said before, it's not really going to work well in terms of styling. So what we're going to need to do is actually create a template. If I go under Elementor templates, I can create a section template. So I can call this tab one or whatever I want it to be called. It doesn't really matter. And then you hit create template. In here, I can put in all the information that I want in the tab. So it looks like this here where we have the image on the left. We have a nice heading, some text, and then a button. And then I can take that design and put it into my tab using a short code. So I'm just going to start styling this. I'm going to create a two column section and then I'll drag over an image. Add my image to the left hand side and then on the right column, I'll add a heading I can add some text and then lastly, I will add a button. Now, of course, you can style this to look however you want it to look and add as many different widgets to these columns as you want. So once you're happy with the design, then you would just want to publish this and take that short code and put it into your tabs. So I'm going to spend a couple minutes getting this styled and then I'll show you what you need to do next. So I styled my sections and I actually created two more so we can add those to the tab widget as well. What we're going to need to do is copy these short codes. So I'm going to copy this first one here for tab one and then I'm going to go back to my page in Elementor, click the tab widget and then in here is where I will put the short code. So if I paste the short code in here, I'll just want to give this a title. Obviously it can be whatever you want to say. Now if we hit update on this, you can see that our tab is now in here. So that section that I just created shows up in the tab. So we just have to repeat that step for the other two sections and we'll have a nicely designed tab system. 
So I've added my short codes to the tab system. And as you can see, if we tab through it, they show up exactly how I want them to look. Now, from here, we would just need to style this tab widget in order to make it look the way that we want it to look. If we go back to our example, you can see that they kind of don't have that section border around everything. They made it uh, pretty minimal. So if you wanted to do that, it's just a matter of styling the actual widget by going to the style tab and then changing how things look in here. So we could remove that border. We could add some different options to the title. That's all you really have to do to create a tab system that looks like this. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope that you found it helpful. One of the things that I like about this method is it's not too complicated. So I could definitely hand this off to a client and let them know how to edit it without them having to worry about messing something up because they have to edit HTML code or do some crazy CSS stuff. It's all within Elementor. You just have to go to the template section in order to edit it. So this is a really nice solution if you are a designer or developer that hands your projects off to clients. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out the other Recreate videos in the playlist that I'll link down below, and I'll see you next time.